In the catacombs, stark white bones are strewn about the ground as far as the eye can see. The sheer number of the deceased is the only indication left of this area's former prosperity. strange knight stumbles out of the darkness towards you. You surmise that he is not of this world. The knight is muttering to himself, as if in a daze. If I end my own life, they can no longer sacrifice me. When you move closer, the knight extends his hand. He's holding a scroll. When you accept it, the knight disappears. The path ahead of you is connected to the ruins of the castle colloquially called the Castle of the Dead. In olden times, whenever a girl disappeared, mm -hmm. the locals would say she'd been called to the Castle of the Dead. <laughs> Because ghosts are incorporeal, they are completely immune to physical attacks. Their weakness is light. Torchlight will drive them off. saved a village girl. You must protect her now. Help me! <clears throat> 
You saved a village girl. You must protect her now. My turn. Voila. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. What? smokes and flies away. You saved a village girl. Thank you. you must protect her now. Protect the village girl. If she's bitten by the others, she will become a vampire as well. Kidnapped girls had been turned. They are now vampires attacking other people. You utter a silent prayer, hoping that you have slain the last vampire and leave the ruins.
In your hands is the bloody scroll that the ghost knight had given you. You have unraveled the mystery of the village girl's disappearances. Obtain your reward at the guild. Wandering one, how can I help you? May they rest in peace. May they rest in peace. May they rest in peace. As you leave the temple, a ragged old man slumped in the road calls out to you. His raspy voice makes it You can give him a coin if you feel pity for him. Of he doesn't even acknowledge you probably
which one do you want? What would you like? You are curious about the bloody scroll. You show Samuel the scroll and tell him what you saw in the catacombs. After examining the scroll, the signature and other details indicate that it is a letter from the king to the princess. It is a report telling her that he had obtained the dragon's crown. You wonder if this letter is true. You can't deny that the ghost was clad in mail that was eerily similar to the king's armor. So perhaps this is true. The king's death will profoundly affect the kingdom and neighboring lands. Samuel orders you to report it to the castle. Hmm, you're back. You have a request. Immediately, you are overwhelmed by guards and thrown into the castle jail, charged for a crime you did not commit. This is a common fate for people who hold a royal secret. You are being removed from the drama at the castle. After a few days, the cell door opens. Once your eyes grow reacclimated to light, you see Count Dean standing before you. He unshackles your ankles and explains the situation to you. The Prime Minister had been jailing all of Dean's allies. As expected, Gustav was working for Bolger. He used a magical necklace to control the princess and influence Heidland. Once Dean got Princess Vivian to safety and confronted the Prime Minister, Gustav fled with a ship full of treasure. The princess apologizes for involving you in this. While she was a hostage, Dean couldn't confront the Prime Minister. This kingdom needs a new ruler immediately. Dean is no saint, but he would make a good leader, you think. However, when Gustav fled, he also stole the Royal Orb, another treasure that represents the right to rule Heidland. If McNeil gets the Orb, it will likely result in civil war. However, the Orb does not appear to have reached Bulger. Princess Vivian asks for your help with this incident. You immediately agree and begin searching for the orb. Gustav's ship chose a pirate route, likely to elude captors. Perhaps his artifice was his undoing. You should investigate. To get the orb back, you travel to Ghost Ship Cove, a known pirate hideout. <laughs> 